You know, I am not like, uh, as I said on my movie review, The Boy and the Heron is not a good movie. It is a great piece of art and autobiography, uh, especially for Miyazaki, because once I understood the symbolisms behind a lot of things, I was like, oh, this makes sense. I'm, I'm very impressed with uh with how he managed to tell his life story into a movie like this and this is such a fitting style so as an autobiography as a video autobiography the boy and the heron it's it's a fantastic movie uh, it's a fantastic it's a fantastic piece of art and it could not have happened if it wasn't for geraldine fernandez Who's Geraldine, Geraldine Fernandez, you might be asking. And I, all, all I have to say is, psh, you stupid idiot, you ignorant. I am ashamed of, of society thinking that Geraldine Fernandez is not a household name right now. That's how I know society is doomed. That's how I know the earth is going to swallow us. The And, and the, probably this is the reason why the aliens haven't like shown the real face yet because we still don't have Geraldine Fernandez as the household name and savior of the boy and the heron. Now, if you are one of those ignorant fools that don't know who Geraldine Fernandez is, I'll tell you real quick. Geraldine, Geraldine oh God, freaking name, Geraldine Fernandez, is this Colombian girl who uh, did about 22,000 frames of the movie, The Boy and the Hair. She's from Colombia and she was praised by Miyazaki because her talent was superb. Her portfolio was out of the stratosphere. She has the talent that you will never have. Your mom wishes Geraldine was the daughter instead of you being the son or the daughter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Every family wants a child like Geraldine that is talented, that is devoted, that is just internationally recognized, especially by one of the best artists that we've had in the world by one of the most classic and memorable studios that turns gold every movie they make. Geraldine Fernandez is one of those unsung heroes. Or at least it would be nice to think that that is the truth if it wasn't because Geraldine is a lying piece of shit. <laughs> So Geraldine Fernandez, and I know this is in Spanish because this is a Spanish related uh, news, but Geraldine Fernandez is this Colombian girl, you can see her right here, uh, where she uh, she said on social media that she drew 22,000 frames for the movie The Boy and the Heron, that she got like praised by Miyazaki because of her work that she did an amazing work and that's why he wanted her to work in the movie. Just to give you a perspective, anima animated movies are uh, done in 12 frames per second. And that means that if she had done 22 frames for the movie, it would mean that she animated by herself at least 48 minutes of the movie. Between 40 minutes and 48 minutes, something like that. So you would think that for a movie that is almost two hours long or a little bit over two hours, one of the main credits would be the woman <laughs> that did half of the goddamn thing. Uh, right there, like a main animator even. But no. So if uh, this is the lesson that you need to take from this. If you're going to lie... If you're going to lie, make sure that you lie uh, on something that cannot be easily disproved. <laughs> because uh, the moment she said that, a lot of people started like looking at the movie, like the credits of the movie. And they're like, oh, you're not there. You're not in any of this. 
who are you? Um, she works for a, a company and the boss had to like, oh, 25,000. Damn, not 22,000, 25,000. So this is, um, this is something that, uh, I mean, you can look for the videos and you'll find plenty of them. I don't know if any of them are in English, but there's interviews that Colombia made where they interview her taking her word for it. Like the, even the news people did not make any sort of research and they interview her like, oh, how was it? How was working with Miyazaki? How was doing this? You're, you're, you're like the, the pride and joy of Colombia right now. And uh, yeah, it turns out to be a lie. Uh, you can, you, th there's a, a plethora of things going on right now on the internet that are going against her, obviously. She, as of right now, deleted her social media uh, because obviously uh, the internet came down with a furious fist. Damn, I forgot. I, I totally forgot about this. Uh, one thing is to lie, you know, to get a job. Like, she clearly lied that she got the job, but she didn't. But anyways, the, the point is that she lied that, oh yeah, I work with Miyazaki and everything. Which is easily disproven. You know what is also easily disproven? Your portfolio. <laughs> so during during the the interviews that she had with like local news and other people and stuff like that, she would show her portfolio and 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 this is the portfolio that Miyazaki looked at and was like oh I am impressed you have to definitely uh, animate like half of my movie and we like your style and everything this portfolio in question is full of stolen art this little peanut decided to create a portfolio using art from other artists and claim it as her own i just don't get that i really don't like i really don't this girl has a zero ounce of talent so if she was in this hypothetical scenario hired to animate a movie it would be not not only easily disproven that her art is not hers but it would be easily noticeable that she is not the one doing that like that's that, that like I, I just don't understand the thought process of geraldine fernandez right here she's like okay i'm going to like that i'm like a fantastic artist even though i have zero artistic talent and if I do get hired or anything, we'll figure that out later. Like, I, I'm clearly just by saying that I'm great, it automatically makes me great. It's like, dude, no, <laughs> that is not the way, the way it works. So I don't understand the thought process behind, behind all of this. You could say, well, it's um, maybe it's just she wanted the fame. But couldn't she have thought maybe for one tiny little second that this, the same tiny amount that her artistic merits attribute to, that maybe, just maybe, people would be able to say, no, you didn't do any of that. And that she would have backlash like she has right now. Now, I can assure you she'll never be able to work uh, on anything animation related I'm not gonna say ever again because I don't think she ever did or if she did like this is clearly like that's it uh, but she is the national embarrassment of Colombia right now and gladly so because uh, stealing art is incredibly shameful you should never do that and obviously lying that you worked on something is easily disproven. So yeah, long story short, don't be a Geraldine Fernandez. <laughs> just, just don't. Or if you're going to lie about your successes and whatnot, just, just, 
learn from this person so you don't become the national embarrassment of your country. All right. Subscribe, like, do all that shit. <laughs> Bye.